Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So as you can see, I have a little box in my hand and I just wanted to say thank you to JBW for sponsoring today's video. I wanted to show you guys my newest addition to my accessories. As you guys know, I love accessories. They're very, very important. I feel like they're definitely a necessity when it comes to your look. And honestly, watches are a way to elevate your look and make them look you know, grown and sexy, classy, whatever you're going for. I feel like JBW has a watch to suit you. So currently right now I am rocking the Cristal 28 and this has 12 genuine diamonds plus 1,095. Yes, 1,095 Swarovski crystals and she is beautiful. So as you guys know, I am extra. So I had to get the blinged out version of this, but they do have a version where only the face has crystals. So if you're not a little extra like me, then that one will be perfect for you. But JBW obviously offers so many different styles for so many different vibes, if that makes sense. So this one on my wrist is gold and they also kindly sent me over the silver one as well and this is just the box that your watch is going to come in so this is perfect for storing your watch to keep it nice and safe or even to travel with if you want to take your watch with you on vacation or wherever you're going she'll be nice and safe in her box but these watches are absolutely gorgeous okay y'all know i've worked with them before and i absolutely love my watch okay and these two are just going to be necessities for me for fall because i love to add a little bit of bling so get used to seeing these babies a lot okay so this is also the cristal 28 and this one is in silver so if you all want to get your hands on this cristal 28 or any other style that jbw offers then definitely click the link below and start shopping sis okay i have a coupon code which will be here on the screen and down below for you to save some money this is the perfect time perfect time to get your accessory game up. It is the fall. So yeah, I just wanted to pop in and show you guys my newest addition to my accessories for fall. And with that being said, I wanna say thank you to JBW once again for sponsoring today's video. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. Hey you guys, welcome back to another vlog. So this vlog doesn't really have a whole lot to it. Um, it's really just me getting back to work. I had to take a lot of pictures the other day and all of them you've pretty much seen already on my Instagram, but I did record myself taking them and you guys really like to see me take pictures. So I included that in this video and then I got my couch finally. And I just wanted to show you guys what the couch looks like. And of course I will put where the couch is from. I'll link it down below and all that good stuff. But yeah, this isn't really a whole lot. I haven't really been doing much. Uh, just recovering, getting back into the swing of things. I feel completely fine. I don't have any pain or anything like that, but I am still internally healing. So I haven't been doing a whole, whole lot, but you guys have been seeing me. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you've seen all the recent posts. And I think I posted like hmm, a few videos since my surgery. So yeah, I'm doing really good. I am just trying to, I don't know. It's not like I feel good or I feel bad. I'm just kind of going with the flow. I think because we're approaching a new season when it gets darker earlier and this time of the year just gets really, you know, y'all know what I'm trying to say. It's been a lot harder for me to be motivated, honestly, especially because I was out for a little bit for my surgery and I'm trying to get back into it on top of it just being so gloomy sometimes and it's just been really hard. I haven't been getting a lot of vitamin D and I have been definitely feeling the effects of it because I've just been feeling really tired, really down. Yeah, all that jazz. So yeah, there's not a whole lot going on in this vlog because I haven't really been doing much, but I do plan to vlog more. And now that I'm obviously able to do things and go places and stuff like that and walk around for a decent amount of time without being like uncomfortable and stuff like that. So yeah, I will be vlogging more. I actually lost my vlog camera, which I'm really sad about because I have no clue where it is like no clue in this video i did use my vlog camera in the later footage of me taking pictures i used my camera that was the last time i had my camera basically so i used it at the airbnb and then i got home and somehow i have the memory card from the camera but i don't have the camera but the camera is here somewhere because i took the memory card out to get the footage off of it to edit this vlog but the camera has just been gone for the last week. So I have no clue where it is. So I'm kind of, I don't know if I'm going to buy a new one. I don't really want to. Because I feel like I just got that one and it was like $700. So I don't know. We'll see. And I don't really like to vlog on my phone because the quality is kind of trash. 
I have the iPhone 12 and it doesn't look that great to me personally. So I might get the Sony A5100, I think that's what it's called, but I really don't wanna get the same camera again and then end up finding that camera and then I have two of them. So I might just get a different camera in case I find that camera. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I just wanted to pop in and let you guys know I'm doing really good. Thank you for all the love and all the messages. You guys have been checking up on me. I was like, girl, we see you posting and stuff like that, but are you okay? And I'm like, yes, I'm fine. I'm good. I'm just getting back to it. This is a time of the year that's usually a lot busier for me. So I'm currently in the process starting next week because I, am, I bought this program that basically helps you heal your gut. And a lot of the time, an imbalanced gut can create like imbalanced hormones and a whole bunch of other issues. Like your gut is literally the center of the earth, <laughs> basically of your body. So if your gut is off, then a whole lot of other things could be off. And my hormones have been out of whack, but my digestive system has been even worse ever since I got my gallbladder removed in 2015. It's been a hot mess. So I am on a journey to healing my gut and hopefully in the process, I will balance my hormones naturally i don't want to take any sort of medication and all that stuff so that's what i'm going to be doing and i do want to take you guys along the journey with me i'm going to try out some things and i will kind of pop in vlogs every once in a while let you guys know what i've been doing and if it's working but yeah let me know if you guys are interested in that because i really want to do that naturally because obviously after i got my surgery all the doctors are like oh well you should do this you should take this you should get on this and all this stuff and i'm like i don't want to do that i want to do it naturally holistically i just want to get it together without actually putting any harsh chemicals or anything in my body so let me know if you guys want to see that journey i think that'd be a lot of fun and it's going to be a journey because my gut is jacked up okay it is jacked so yeah but i just wanted to pop in and let you guys know what i've been doing and the next clips are just going to be my couch getting delivered and me showing you my couch and then after that, it's literally gonna be just me taking pictures. And that is the end of the vlog, literally. So hopefully you guys enjoy the footage that I did show you and hopefully, you know, it's kind of entertaining, kind of helpful. And yeah, that is all. So I'm gonna get right into the vlog. I just wanted to pop in and show you guys my face currently, present day. It is Friday, October 22nd, and it is 424. And I just wanted to, you know, show y'all my face currently and what I'm looking like. I just recorded a crap ton of videos. I am pooped. I recorded this hair video. You guys are always asking me about my hair. Definitely check my videos because I do do a video on all the hair that I wear. And yeah, this is going to be coming up in a video. This is probably like one of my best installs yet. Okay. And this is a very, very beautiful wig as you can clearly see. It isn't like super laid, but y'all know I'm not that great at laying my wigs. So this is actually really good for me. And I love I love, love, love this lace. I love this wig. So you guys will see this video soon. Just be on the lookout. But yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. I just wanted to show you guys my face. I love y'all so much. And I'm really excited to get back into working for real, for real. Cause a lot of the stuff I've been posting has been like previously recorded and all that stuff. So y'all know your girl bulk films content. I am the GOAT. Okay, I bulk film my content on Instagram at least. YouTube, I gotta do a little bit better. But I'm gonna go. So my couch was finally delivered. As you can clearly see, I'm opening up the boxes. I ordered this couch on July 26th and I received the couch on September 17th because they did have some stock issues. When I bought the couch, it said it was in stock and then I literally heard nothing for like a month and I was like, uh, what the hell? But the couch ended up coming and they did reach out to me saying that they had some issues with the stock and everything like that. So the couch is a U-sectional and it is 170 inches long, which is like 14 feet. And I remember telling you guys that I was gonna get this big ass couch and here it is, as you can see, all of these boxes that we had to get rid of, which was a hot mess. In total, this couch was, after taxes, about 3,300, yeah. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have this couch for a little while, but as you can see, the pillows that came with the couch, I didn't know that it was gonna come with like these two mustard colored pillows, but I'm actually really excited that it did come with these because we have a piece in our living room that went with those pillows perfectly. So this is the couch. 
She's really, really, really comfortable, you guys. Probably the most comfortable couch I've ever, ever, ever purchased. And this couch can also be separated. So the pieces in the middle are actually seats on their own. So you can make the couch a lot shorter. So if you want to take one of these out and put one of them in another room and have it as an actual seat, you could do that. But I like the way it looks. It's really big. I wanted it to fill up the space pretty much fully because, I mean, I just want it to be nice and cozy. So I wanted to show you guys my couch and here she is. So here is the front door when you first walk in and I'm just going to turn around and there is a set of stairs right in front of me and right here is the garage which I'm not going to be using but it's the garage you know nothing crazy nothing special. So I'm going to go up these steps right here. And there's two ways you can go. You can go up here or you can go down here. So we're gonna go down here first and work our way up. Sorry, that's the AC. It's really, really, really loud. But when you get down here, there is a door that leads out into the back patio. This is a closet that is locked. No need for that. Here is a area to I don't know, a little fridge, wash up, wash your hands. If you're coming in from the beach. And then here's a cute little bathroom. Just a little bathroom. A mirror. And then over here is a little room, which is super cute. This is where I'm gonna be laying out all my stuff. I'm actually gonna be sleeping upstairs, so, or I might, I should have brought my stuff upstairs. But anyways, here is a cute little common area that's in the bedroom. So it has like a little couch, a little table, and then the TV right there. And then as you can see out there, it's like the back patio. And then this is the bed. So it just has like some really cute beachy decor. And then over here is a closet that I won't be using, but it is a really, really nice size closet. So yeah, there's no hangers. So that's why I'm not using it because I can't hang anything up. So that's it for the room downstairs. We're gonna go upstairs. It is a lot of freaking stairs and I'm like, bro, I can't. Whew, I feel like I'm working out. Okay, so then we're gonna go up here and this is like the main area. So to the left is a living area as you can see it's a lot of space in here this cute little couch over here some sitting area over there and another couch over here and then the tv is right there so this is also the back patio this window is really dirty but this is a nice size patio i'm not going to go out there because i don't want my camera to fog up you go out just a little bit, you can see the beach over there, which is so nice. So, so pretty. And then on the other side, as you guys seen right in front, was the dining area. This really, really cute decor. I love this light. It's really, really pretty. This is the kitchen. And then off across the side of the kitchen is this adorable, okay, adorable seating area. I love this so much. These chairs. So freaking cute. And then here is a half bathroom. So now that we've gotten this out of the way, here is another set of stairs. And this bad boy is steep, okay? This is a lot of freaking stairs. But up here is just where all the rooms are at or the rest of the rooms because there's one, the one downstairs. So this is probably the room that I'm gonna end up sleeping in. So cute, so spacious, so much light. I just love it. And then here we have another closet. This is the closet that I think I wanna put my stuff in. So I'm probably gonna have to bring those suitcases up here, which is gonna be a B-I-T-C-H. And then as you can see up here as well, there is another patio. So there's just patios everywhere, okay? I'm gonna be on all of them, okay? So here is the bed. Super, super cute. 
there's the TV. Kind of odd positioning, you know? The bed over here, the TV right here. And I hope that it tilts or turns at least. Yeah, barely, but it turns enough, I guess. Still pretty weird. But here is the bathroom. This yellow lighting is driving me insane. The toilet over there. Here is a bathtub. And then this is the shower. Pretty sure this is a washer and dryer, which I won't use because I'm only gonna be here for three days. This is another bathroom. Another one. And then over here are two bedrooms. So the first one is this one right here. Super cute. This is like a kid's bedroom. Really cute and it has a closet right there. And then this is the last bedroom. So, really, really nice. I like this a lot. I am gonna go get my stuff and bring it up here because I actually would rather have my stuff up here with me instead of downstairs because I don't trust people. And as you can see, there is three levels to this. Three, one, two, three, yeah. So I literally have to go all the way downstairs to get my freaking bags. But I'll pick up the camera again whenever I am starting on my first look and everything like that. So I will see you guys in a bit. So as you can see, I have all my stuff laid out because this bed is not gonna be used. I put my stuff all over it, my suitcase, all that. And I have all my looks laid out. So I have all my shoes, as you can see. And then I have an outfit up here too that didn't fit at the bottom. But I literally just lay everything out. You can hang everything up, but I just feel like it's pointless to put it on the hanger just to rip it off. So I have everything laid out right here. And this is just how I stay organized. Typically, I'll put it in the order that I'm going to be filming it or shooting it in but I honestly don't really know where I'm gonna begin this time so we're just we're just gonna go with the flow but yeah so I'm gonna get dressed I'm gonna try to knock out like one or two of these so maybe like these first two right here and then I'm gonna work on the rest of this stuff tomorrow because it's already like 6 30 and I'm tired. So as you can probably hear in my voice, I'm tired as hell. So I'm gonna work on these two right here, the sneakers and the green heels right here. And if I don't get any footage or anything like that tonight, then you guys will of course see me tomorrow first thing to shoot all of this. So yeah, it is, it's 7.33 or something like that. But I just realized they don't have any like full body mirrors in this place, which is unheard of. But I wanted to show you guys my first outfit. And these pants are way too big on me. They're actually men's pants. I've been really going in on the men's section because they be having all the cute stuff. But since there isn't a full body mirror, yeah, there isn't a full, that's weird. But since there isn't a full body mirror, I'm just gonna show you guys right here. So this is the shirt right here, which you guys will have all the details and everything on my Instagram, so go check that out. But this is a shirt, and then I have these khaki joggers, which are pretty big. They're a 34 in men's, and they're just falling off my waist. And then with it, I have on these sneakers right here. Also this jacket, which I was just gonna have on kind of like off a little bit. So not like fully, you know? And that's the vibe. You guys get the hat and everything, so. So the only issue I have is the bag. So this is the bag that I was initially gonna wear because it's a tote and it's like casual. And typically with outfits like this, I like to do totes because I feel like any other kind of bag looks a little bit too feminine and I want it to look very casual and just like boyish almost. So I was gonna do this tote, 
but I don't know, maybe I'll turn it around because I don't really like that blue, even though it kind of matches because there is blue in the shoe. I cannot keep my balance. There is blue in the shoe right here, but I don't know. I just feel like I need an accessory maybe. How does this look? At this point, you guys will have already seen it on my Instagram, so you'll see how I styled it. But yeah, y'all let me know. I have another bag upstairs, but I don't think I like it. So this is the tote. As you can see, it like kind of matches me, but I don't know. Yeah, so this is the tote. I don't think I like it. Nah, I'm gonna try to finesse the other one, and if not, I just won't carry a bag at all in the picture. I just feel like I need something in my hand. I don't know why I always feel like that, but yeah. Okay, so I'm about to set up my camera. It is eight o'clock on the dot, literally eight o'clock. Can y'all see that? It's eight o'clock and I am finally about to start taking my first picture. It is, I'm probably only gonna do like two tonight. Depends on how I feel. I'm actually really tired, but I got this little burst of energy. So yeah, if you guys wanna know how I take my Instagram pictures, what I use, all that jazz, then check this video right here in the cards. I have all the equipment I use, all the apps that I use, all that stuff. So I'm gonna go into the app that I use to take my photos because I don't like to hold the timer remote anymore. So I use this app called Lens Buddy, which I'm sure you guys have heard of by now. I'm not gonna do this like in depth on all of the pictures I take. I'm just showing you guys what I'm doing. So basically with this picture, I want some of the stairway. I'm gonna zoom in. Hopefully I can see that. So I want some of the stairs to be in the photo. So I'm just gonna move this to where you can't see the white. Oh, I gotta move the camera. So I just moved this over to where you basically can't see this right here. So you guys see that I'm moving it so that you can't see that anymore, but you can still see a little bit of the stairs. And hmm, let me see. Close this door because that's in the frame. And I'm just going to take some test shots. So basically this is where I would go over here to see where my footing and everything should be. Low key, I might be able to see it in that. No, I can't see it at all. So we're gonna see what it looks like. And like I said, these are just test shots. I'm not actually taking pictures so I could see where I need to stand and to see how the lighting looks. Okay, um, so the lighting doesn't look bad. I just look really short and I hate when my legs look shorter than my head. I mean, it doesn't look that bad actually. I could fix it if I need to. Hmm, maybe I'll lower, I think I need to lower this a little bit, maybe. I feel like that's really low. Let's see. But my feet aren't cut off, so that's good. I feel like that's way too low. where I'm at. If the angle's better. Um, honestly, it looks exactly the same. So, if I need to fix it, uh, I just feel like I look really short. It's weird. Y'all probably think these look fine, if y'all could see them, but my legs look really short. So what I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm gonna keep it at that angle. I don't know if you guys could see, but I can edit it to make it look decent. So I'm gonna keep it there. 
And I'm also gonna record my Instagram stories right here as well. Cause as you guys have seen, I post the photo and then I post a story in the item so you guys can get like exactly what I'm wearing. And then I'll take this off and go put on something else and knock out the photo and the stories in one go. So we're gonna take some with the bag and then we're gonna take some without it because I don't know if I like this bag, like I said earlier, so. Okay, yeah, let's see what we got. They're not half bad. I just don't know if I like this bag. Actually, I do like the bag. I'm just gonna keep it on that side so you can't see the Pretty Little Thing logo on here because I don't really like the blue. So I'll just keep it on the side that you can't see the logo. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna keep the bag over there because I don't like this. So I'm gonna come back when I'm done because I don't wanna keep recording the same over and over again. So I'm gonna be back and I'll show you guys the next look. There's this cute little spot right here that I was thinking about taking this picture in. If not, I'm gonna go over there by that tree, but that is what it looks like on the camera. It's a cute little setup. So I don't know if this outfit matches necessarily, but we're gonna see. And like I said, this is look number two, this cute little bag, this jewelry from Shein, and this shirt from Fashion Nova, which I'm wearing as a dress, and heels from Public Desire. Yeah, like I said, y'all, oh my God, can we take a moment for this part? No ma'am, but I fixed it though, okay? Finesse, finesse, finesse. Editing video coming soon. Don't worry guys, I got y'all. Said I'm gonna take this makeup off, I'm gonna heat up my soup, and I'm gonna go get in the bed, okay? Good morning, you guys. So it is the next day and it is actually 10 o'clock, okay? So I woke up at like seven and it was still a little dark and the sun wasn't hitting where I wanted it to hit at that time. So I'm just now getting finished getting dressed. I ate breakfast. I kind of planned out my day. I kind of switched up what I was gonna do. So right now I'm actually about to film a haul. I went home and grabbed all the clothes that I needed for the haul and now i'm gonna do that and then after that i'm gonna take the rest of the pictures i have to take so this is the outfit that i'm gonna be taking the next picture in but i'm also gonna film the video in so yeah the video is a fashion nova haul and it is probably gonna be up before you guys see this video so if it is i'll link it in the card so you guys can get the details on all my looks that i've posted recently but because it is already 10 o'clock i need to get moving um i'm really not too much in a rush because I'm waiting for the sun to go down and it's 10 o'clock so the sun isn't gonna go down until like maybe six or seven anyway so I have a lot of time and this cute little chair I took a picture in this chair yesterday and I was like I really feel like I need to get some content in this little area so I kind of set it up the way that I needed it to be for my camera and I moved that one out of the way because it was right there and it was kind of in the background. So basically the setup is just gonna be this little chair and I'm gonna do the haul sitting in this chair and I just wanted to get some content here, like video content. I have all the clothes for the haul in this suitcase right here that actually matches my outfit. So I'm gonna take all the clothes out of here and I'm about to film this video. And once I'm done filming the video, I will come back and get moving with the, the pictures and show you guys that process. But yeah, I'm gonna get to it and I will see you guys in the next clip. Yeah. 
truck you in, put you to sleep right. I'm swasing, enticing, burning body like a match, pop like a black cat, light up the whole night. Every time my baby come around me, she can't come and get it. Put her down like Paris, that's grounded. Have you seen different colors? Let me take you high. Look up in the sky, make you up, up, up like power. Y'all, I have been struggling in this green outfit. I don't know what it is. I just don't know. I really like the outfit, but sometimes you could really like an outfit, but you just, the pictures are just not translating. So I got some cute ones, I guess. I don't know. I've been working on this picture for like the last two hours and I'm over it. I need to go get some more stuff done. It is 1230 at this point and I've only taken one picture today and I did record a video. So that's, that's cool. I got that out of the way, but I'm tired of this outfit. Like it's cute. It's this green bodysuit from Fashion Nova. These gray jeans. I got this cute little green bag to go with it. I think this is from Shein, I'm pretty sure. And then I have on some necklaces, some rings, and then these bracelets, which are also from Shein. And then the heels, the green heels with the gold chain. So the outfit is really cute, but I don't know what it is. Lately, I've been feeling way more comfortable in like sneakers and sweats and big tees and stuff. So when I wear stuff like this, I guess I just feel awkward. I don't know what's going on, but I got some decent pictures. I'm gonna show you guys because I'm pretty sure by the time you see this video, these pictures will be up. Y'all see that? It's not bad. I wanted to keep the background really neutral or not really neutral, really like yeah, I guess neutral, plain, white, cream, whatever, because I obviously have on a pop of color and I think it would just help me like stand out a little bit. But I also took some on the table right there. So originally I was right here on this blank wall, but something was off about it and I just was like, let me just try to sit on the damn table. So I sat on the table and I ended up getting these, which aren't the greatest but i can use them it's kind of an awkward angle so the way that i was sitting was just really awkward but i don't know i still kind of pop out a little bit because all the colors around me are really neutral so yeah i don't know i think i like the other ones better here i was just fixing my hair for like 10 freaking minutes but yeah they're not bad but eh. But yeah, I'm gonna go get changed and touch up my makeup because I feel like I look really greasy. My lip gloss is, I'm eating it off basically. And I just am ready to get out this outfit. So I'm gonna go put on the next outfit. I don't know what that is just yet, but I'll know when I get upstairs and I will see you guys in the next clip. Like I said, it is 12.30 at this point and I have four more looks to do, which isn't that bad, honestly. I could knock that out, but I need to go figure out what I'm doing next. So I decided I was going to throw on a red lip, which I kind of rushed, so it's not, it's not my best red lip. But I put on this plaid shirt, this tank, and these blue joggers. And then I just have on my navy blue and white Air Force Ones. And I just felt like it was a lot of blue and white, so that's why I threw on the red lip. And then I also have these sunglasses right here. Can y'all see that? Which are super cute. And I don't know if I wanna wear them on top of my head or on my face, but I, I love this shape of sunglasses on my face because it's the only one that really looks flattering. So I'm gonna attempt to, and I gotta be very careful because y'all, if my camera goes down, it's going down. Like this is very high and I have my camera on this ledge. So once, so if it falls, it's going down there. So I have to be very careful, but I'm gonna try to set you guys up right here. And then I have my light right here, which, so basically I just have it set up right here. I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not, but I'm gonna go over there and do some test shots. So I'm gonna put you guys right here.
called you a cowboy. What did he mean? What are you? Just a humble bounty hunter, man. Hey guys, so I'm on to my next outfit and my lips are completely stained from that red lipstick and I'm just like, really though, really though, but, and not to mention my smart self left my makeup wipes at home. So I have been scrubbing my lips with baby wipes and that obviously doesn't work as great as makeup wipes. So right now I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna take this next picture. So this outfit is real chill. It is this long sleeve shirt that has this orange text in this eight ball. And then in the back, it's kind of similar. And then I have on some black joggers, my Yeezy slides and my orange tail fire. And then in here, I have a beanie, which I don't know if I'm gonna use because I don't know if it'll look cute on my head with this hairstyle and then some glasses. So the next task is to find a good spot to take this picture. This is a very chill look and everything in here is kind of like, I can't explain it, but it doesn't go with the vibe of this outfit. So I'm gonna go down here, which is really creepy. And I was actually gonna freaking sleep down here because I didn't know that there was so many rooms upstairs. I didn't know it was three levels. So, so there's a little door right here that leads to outside. And I was gonna take one of my pictures back here. But when it got later in the day because it's hot. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's not bad out here. I can't even see. It's just rocks, some chairs. So I was gonna take my picture over there up against the wall. I was just gonna move that chair out of the way. But this picture, hmm. I don't know. I am about to try to take pictures in the garage of the Airbnb, obviously not where the trash bins are, but right here. Right here up against this wall. And then of course I can fix any blemishes or anything on the ground. But uh, I think this is more the vibe for this outfit because it's very, it's very chill as you can see. so that is the end of the video i didn't do a proper outro because like i said i have no clue where my camera is and i've kind of just been freaking out about it honestly and the only thing that i have is my dslr which i'm recording on right now and i don't want to carry this heavy ass camera around so i just wanted to pop in and do an outro properly i didn't want to just end the vlog where i did because that would have been really random and awkward but thank you guys so much for watching and definitely definitely get you a jbw watch okay sis 
I love my JBW watch. I have been rocking it ever since I got it and it is definitely a staple for me. So you guys will be seeing that a lot on my Instagram, especially in the cooler months. I like to be icy, okay, and blinged out in the cooler months because, you know, it's just, I feel like I dress a lot more conservative, if you will. And I just think it just adds a nice little to your outfit, you know what I mean? So yeah, definitely check out JBW. I will have the link down below, my coupon code, everything like that so you guys can purchase. And let me know if you guys get you a JBW watch. If you already have one, let me know. Also, the holidays is coming up so you can easily, you know, gift somebody a watch. You can give yourself a watch. You can do what you gotta do. So yeah, that is the end of this video. Let me know if you guys want more content of me just doing work. <laughs> Because a lot of people are like, well, we want to see that because I'll be like, I don't really record because I'm always working, basically. But if you guys want to see that, if it's entertaining to you, then let me know. And I will have that out for you guys in my blogs. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.